I am a hoarder help. Uh, let me just take a quick survey here. Hoarding is the right word for it. It's not filthy. This looks like sealed products. Mostly. So this is just a lot of clutter. Room. Okay, this side's a lot worse. Okay, so Domino's pizza box. I think this is a, a massage chair flipped upside down. I don't know. Some, some weird fucking apparatus to sit in. This is a road worker's uniform. I, I don't know what that's there for. I guess they shook him down for his clothes to throw in the house for fun. A nuisance, but it's not, like, revolting. No one's gonna come in here and, like, puke. Like they would if they went to XQC's room or uh, Jägermeister's or Asmund's. This is just one of those things where it's like, ugh, what a headache. Have you seen uh, uh, Hoarders, the TV show? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of it's from... I like that answer. <laughs> What is, what, why, what are these? Official trading cards, but why? <laughs> Was it like an investment gone wrong? Pokemon cards are blowing up, so why not these? The streaming room's pretty clean. Oh, oh never mind, I didn't even see all this down here. Okay, so this is less hoarding, this is less like hoarding clutter and more human waste. So, a lot of food and drink shit. This is like a carton of milk. That's hype. E-fuel cans, to yeah. shoes, to plates, to... Okay, yeah. It... ...and a, a dead Pepe the Frog. Uh. <laughs> so his, his so spot I, is pretty there's gross. There's just a lot of trash in here, Papa. Yeah. Yes. We'd get these boxes, and then we'd just, we'd just store shit in them. Why? Yeah. Why? Why? Why would you do that, though? Yeah, I love, you know, I love Olive Garden, so I'll get takeout and I'll keep the box. Just in case I ever need it. That's such a weird thought process. Like, it's nice to have boxes, I guess, but why tiny hard rock boxes? Just get yourself, like, an actual box. This wow. Just Lego, so <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, this closet's fucking awesome. Alright. It's not just Lego, by the way. You have Connects right here. So don't disrespect Connects. I used to love Connects. So, what? but why? He doesn't build them. He just collects the Lego boxes. I guess just for fun? Like, just to hoard all the Legos so kids can't have them? Just as a fuck you? There's, I'm gonna why, Papa, do you shit a lot? This is your toilet. Look how many what shit What the fuck is, is that? Why is there a fucking milkshake here as well? <laughs> <laughs> then moving further all right so his dad is definitely the grosser one here the man just piles up toilet paper rolls and a milkshake you can't even use this sink all right so this one's pretty gross all right now we're getting somewhere this is yucky there's old blood all over because i cut my finger i think you can see one blood in here as well yeah here on the wall you can see some of the blood didn't even bother to wipe it like once you see it's fucking crime scene oh my god so this is where he opens all of the csgo trading cards man just wakes up after a wet dream he's like fuck let me see if i can pull a simple card spends two hours just throwing the wrappers off to the side so this is like a like a Halloween department store. He's got a cool mask. Some suitcases. I don't even know what this is. Sealed board games? What is this? Settlers of Catan or something? What is this over here? Oh, you can't even see it. That's so much fucking milk. These are all milk, right? I can't read it. It's kind of blurry, but I'm pretty sure this is all fucking milk. Oh my god, that's so rancid. <laughs> oh my lord. At least, if there's any compliments I can pay to the other battle stations, at the very least, it was sodas. So those will like mold and shit and get gross, but the milk curdling and spoiling is so much fouler. Oh. But yeah, his bones must be strong as fuck. There is no way the two of them do it themselves. They hire a professional or something. I just don't believe it. This is this is too much for just two men. We see some progress. I'm not sure if you look more like a 
German gimp or if you look like an executioner from the, the 1600s. We're still sorting the things half an hour later. It is going decently. I think Papa's gonna fall asleep soon. Uh, Papa, I I'm can't believe they're actually gonna try and two-man this. You can have a beer. This is a fan That's so admirable. So we appreciate it. It is. Maybe we're gonna get rid of it, probably. But they're not even cleaning, they're just kind of playing. Yes, <laughs> they're just hanging out. No? Here's the progress so far. After three- What fucking progress? It, all they've done is move a couple of boxes and play with the, the fucking latex suit and giraffe costume. There is no progress here. And then they kicked back for a brewski. But I respect it. I, I like that. I like that grind. He's a little sick now because apparently he is allergic to dust. I got pink eyes from all your shit. <laughs> yes. Uh, so <laughs> it actually does look like he has pink eye. He probably doesn't, but it, for some reason, it to me, it does look like he's got it. It's probably from putting on all the shit, and he ate like a 15-year-old expired gummy out of nowhere. He's such a good sport. Bro, I would I would absolutely not help. Finally, we have a use for my horde trash. Life hack 101. Again, like it just maybe it's just me, but it doesn't seem like they've made progress. All they've done is they moved the trash a little further inland. Like they're parting the sea like Moses here. They're not actually moving anything and getting anything out besides that box that his dad painstakingly dragged to the garage. They're just like, relocating the trash to other parts of the apartment. Why is he making his dad do this when this is unholy? But I do respect he's got some Yu-Gi-Oh! Um, booster tins here. So he's got, like, this wild mosh podge of cards. From CSGO trading cards to Yu-Gi-Oh! to Pokemon all over the place. But luckily this isn't like the actual hazardous biological waste from the other side of his room. A gaming room. Is he doing, like, whippets or something when he's streaming? Why is there just, like, aerosol cans here? Or maybe it's not aerosol and it's just blurry and I can't tell. A lot of milk, Papa. Yeah, here it is. So much milk. Look how deep my foot goes. We oh, the God. The 25th of May. So I want you to open this one and have a smell. Don't, don't. You're better than this, Papa <laughs> Anomaly. Oh, God. <laughs> Bro, he just does anything his son asks him to. Can you rub this spoiled milk in your eyes, Papa? <laughs> It'll be great content. Oh, yes, it will, of course. It's a fermented one. This one is from, from May. Ah, uh, finely aged milk, then. <laughs> just thinking about it makes me almost fucking puke. Open it. Look what's inside. <laughs> Don't! Why would you do that? Four? Five! You know what's inside, it's spoiled milk! These are small ones, so- There's not gonna be like some kind of mystery surprise inside of the 15-year-old milk. Like, oh god, I wonder what treasure fucking leprechaun left in here, like the pot of gold. There's gonna be something good in here. <laughs> this is such a wild station. This one's pretty bad. It started off as just normal hoarding clutter, and quickly devolved. Why is it so black? Wait, get your flashlight! What the fuck is that, bro? What do you mean, what is that? It's mold. That's mold. It's not like a like the portal to the upside down or anything, it's just mold. You know, like, you sh that's, that's just kind of how things will go. <laughs> Linda, what the fuck? <laughs> so many goodies, it's like a flea market. <laughs> Jesus Christ, how much fucking costuming <laughs> shit does he have here? Do you play hockey? Oh, I don't want to see like an overview of the room real quick while we're still here. Like again, I can't see the whole room, but just going off of this, they're not really getting rid of anything except for his desk with like the old milk and shit. But all the other shit, they're just moving elsewhere. It's like that SpongeBob episode with the dirty diapers. Like they're just hiding it. Like, they're just hiding the filth in the apartment still. Like, it doesn't seem like anything's actually leaving. You can actually see the floor now. Yeah, in some places, but now this side, which wasn't that bad when we came in, 
These tables were pretty empty when we came in. Now they're full of shit. Just trash. They just pushed it all over here. They picked up Bikini Bottom and moved it over there. Mask. I think that's... Oh, and here's a bicycle pump. I can have that. <laughs> I don't think that's a bicycle pump. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh my God, it's like a Slipknot concert. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that shirt is hype. They cannot get rid of that shirt. That shirt is fucking hype. Surfing on the internet. Right at your fingertips. That's iconic. That is fire. <laughs> I give you that one. That's why I'm throwing it away. Oh, that's fucked up. No, Don't even joke about that. It's like two days, you can see. Papa's eye is looking a little Thanks weird. Five now, subs, we Thank just you, man. found out that Papa is apparently allergic to dust. You can look into your eye. Wait, look. Uh what do you mean we just found out? We have known he's been allergic for dust for the last two days that he has been in the trenches cleaning this bitch. This is not new information. He said it on day one. We knew this. <laughs> this was... This was information that was readily available off rip for us. Up, open your eye. <laughs> oh my god. Holy shit. Know, but maybe Papa very dust allergic or something, or someone in the fan mail actually sent anthrax. Yeah. And we are going to go to the hospital now. You know what? Um, I think chat's right. I think what happened here is after putting on the fucking latex BDSM kit for the 12th time, maybe some of the old goo and gunk that was left in there has penetrated his eyes and fucked him up. Like, that wasn't cleaned beforehand. And this man went in there like eight times into those things. He was trying on every mask and hat, uh, like he was in a, uh, like a Dillard's. And we are going to make the final touches to the... What do you mean? <laughs> this is exactly what I'm saying. Look at this fucking living room. All of the mess that was there when we started is still there. It is just in a different corner. The fucking treadmill is still uh, erected in the middle of this room for no reason. There's still boxes of fucking trash everywhere. The only thing is, instead of being on the left side, it is now all on the right side. Yeah! You can already see that there's a living room that's supposed to be here. And this just took like five days. <laughs> so now we just. Need uh, to hey, only 500 carpet. more and the, the <gasps> apartment huge, might be fully clean. Huge carpet! <sighs> yes? After literally like three weeks, I think we are finally. Oh, done. that's. So go on, follow along. They hired I'm a professional. Yeah, I knew, I knew they, I knew they would. This shit looks amazing. Yeah, I knew that. Look at how clean everything is. I think it's smart. There was no way they were doing it themselves. Oh, Papa, fridge, you can see. I have G fuel in my. Yeah, absolutely had a professional. But it, they did a great job. Didn't really focus on the floor that much, which was the actual major problem spot. They just kind of like we blasted by it. We have a floor which we can. But, yeah, they clearly cleaned it up. There's no cans or milk Step. left here. Jesus, that's a six monitor setup. What in tarnation? What could you possibly be doing that requires six monitors? Is he like the architect from the Matrix? Good lord. Opening six cases at once. True. Does Anomaly still do those massive case openings? I haven't seen him do it in a while. Different room in here, like... Wow. <laughs> wow. Yeah, it is a whole different room in here. Look here. Insane. Not a single piece of trash. It's... You want to know what the dead giveaway is that a pro did this? It's not even, like, the actual degree of cleanliness that they were able to accomplish here. It's the bed. The bed is what tells me a pro did this. Because when we came in here initially, he was sleeping on bare mattress with the cover not even on it. Right? But now this has what looks to be, like, a comforter as well. They absolutely had a pro come in here. They set it up with, like, a good bed and everything. So, yeah, this is straight up paid actor shit. But they were never going to clean this place by themselves. It's also the cleaning equipment in the room. Oh, was there cleaning equipment? I didn't even see it. 
of cleaning yeah. a great job. We did. The funny thing is, we didn't actually do much of the cleaning at all. It's only Linda that did all the cleaning. Oh, okay, we that makes even more the sense then. For it. Yes, because we're men. Yes. <laughs> Woo! Okay, that makes so much sense. I thought a professional, but it, it makes even more sense that he wouldn't have even bothered spending the money on the professional. That money spent on a professional is better spent on the CSGO cases, I guess. I feel so bad for Linda. That's so rough. That was, uh, what a massive undertaking. Holy shit. I have no doubt that probably did take three fucking weeks. God, that was a pretty, that was actually a wild adventure. I did not expect that to be that dirty. Because it started off kind of innocent with just clutter. And then it quickly devolved into absolute sin. <laughs> but... They got it together. Linda saved the day. I'm pretty sure his shit is messy again. So yeah, that seems to be a common theme. What was the quote? You can clean the room, but you can't clean the habit? Or something? I don't know. Some stupid, profound statement like that. So it seems like most people who end up with like a room that filthy, when it's clean, will just go right back to it.